Hello friends and welcome to this video tutorial. Myself, Professor Envy Patil, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department of KKWAG Institute of Engineering, Education and Research, Nashik. In this video tutorial, we are going to perform the model analysis of cantilever beam using ANSYS workbench. Let's consider the cantilever beam which is fixed at one end and one end is free and its dimensions are given in meter. When we perform the analytical solutions using the beam theory, so the natural frequencies will be calculated using this formula. For this formula, the Ni is a constant term and as the cross section of this beam is a rectangular, so we will be get the two moment of inertia I1 and I2. So using this I1 and I2 value and some constant value as per the beam theory, we can be able to find the different natural frequencies. So we will be get the first six natural frequencies by using the beam theory in herd and we are going to validate these results using the ANSYS workbench. So let's open the ANSYS workbench. When you open the ANSYS workbench, you will be get this project schematic and analysis system at the left hand side. From the analysis system, double click on the model analysis. So we will be get this model analysis system in project schematic. Here the engineering data, uh, the default structural steel material will be applied. We are also going to use the same structural steel material, so no need to edit the engineering data. The second step is geometry, we have to create the beam. So to create the beam, right click on geometry and click on new space claim geometry and wait for some time. Now click on this space claim window. The space claim window will be get open. To create the geometry, click on the new sketch plane. Click on Z axis. So it enables you to select the XY plane. Now click on the plan view. To create the rectangle, click on rectangle. We are going to create the rectangle from the center. So here in option sketch rectangle, click on the different rectangle from the center option. So you will be able to create the rectangle from center. So click on center point and move your cursor. As you can see the dimensions are given in mm by default, but all the dimensions have given in meter. So we have to change the units. So click on file, space claim options units and change these units to meter click on ok now you can be able to create the rectangle in meter so the breadth value is given as a 0 0.02 press the tab key to switch the dimensions and the depth is given as a 0 0.003 so providing the dimension hit the enter key and click on end sketch editing so now the pull command is activated. We have to provide the depth that is the length of the beam. So select this beam, move your cursor. Without leaving the cursor, provide the length that is 0.45 meter and hit the enter key. Now leave your cursor. So in this way you can be able to create this rectangular beam. Now click on escape. Save the files. Click on file, save, give the names as a beam. I'm going to save it on a desktop. Click on save and close this window. As the right tick is not get in geometry, so again right click here. Click on import geometry, click on browse and select the beam. Click on open. As the right tick will get, you have to double click on the model. It's showing the starting mechanical, so mechanical window is going to be open. As the mechanical window is get open, now we have to create the mesh, apply the boundary conditions and solve the problem. So if you click on the geometry and click on this beam solid, you can be able to see that the material by default is assigned as a structural steel. So we are going to use the same material. If you want the different material, you can be able to add the material in engineering data and that material you can be able to assign from here. So now next step is to click on the meshing, right click, insert and sizing. Here click on this body selection option, select the total body, click on this geometry no selection and click on apply. The element size by default is applied, so we have to change the element size to 0. 02 to get the beta accuracy click on enter and then 
right click on mesh and update you will be able to get this only a uh, one element along this breadth so we must need to apply the minimum two elements so for that again we are going to change the body size so it should be a half of your breadth so again clicking on body size and in element size providing as a 0 0.01 hit the enter key again right click and update so now this beam will be get divided into two elements along this breadth now we have to apply the boundary conditions so right click on this model insert and fix support face option should be enabled now select this face you may zoom in it by clicking on this plus icon select this one end now select this face here the face option is unselected so again click on this face option select the face click on apply so it shows the one face is selected and fix support is applied there is no need to apply the forces on other end because the other end is a free we are going to perform the free free analysis and in model analysis we are going to find out the natural frequencies and corresponding mode shapes so to see this geometry on your screen again you can click on this zoom to fit window so it will be appear on your screen now we have to provide how many number of mode shapes you are required so click on this analysis setting here the maximum modes to find is given as a 6 you may change to any number you can be provided to ma uh, more numbers also 10, 100, 200 likewise this but the modes beyond the 6 numbers will be not much more useful so we are going to keep it as a 6 then right click on solutions and then click on the solve to get the 6 mode shapes and natural frequency now the problem is solved and you can be able to see the different natural frequencies here for the 6 modes to see these modes you have to right click here click on select all again right click and click on the create mode shape results so here all the mode shape results will be created you can be able to see the different mode shapes for this again to see these uh, mode shapes you have to again right click on solutions and click on the evaluated all results so now all results are evaluated you can be able to see again the natural frequencies for the six mode so these are again approximately same whatever the analytical results we get the analytical solution and software solution are approximately same and the deviation is again less than five percent so these are acceptable now to see the different mode shapes for the corresponding natural frequencies click on this first deformation so this is the first mode shape for the second third mode shape how the beam will be behave for the different natural frequencies you can be able to see here fourth mode shape fifth and sixth same fashion you can be able to see the animation so for the sixth mode shape if i click on this play so it will be behave like this now for the fifth again click on play so this is the fifth mode shape for the natural frequency 417 now for fourth mode shape for 212 third second and first so in this way you can be able to find out the different mode shapes and natural frequencies of the cantilever beam now these natural frequencies and mode shapes are used to avoid the resonance so if you want to check which mode shape we have to change or the natural frequency we have to change click on this solution information now in solution output the solver output you have to click here and then click on the selection options and select the participation factor and effective mass so you will be get this participation factor summary and effective mass summary the participation factor shows the most prominent mo modes in a certain direction that will be excited by the forces in that direction so you will be get in x direction y direction and z direction here in x direction the third mode having the maximum and the effective mass can be useful for confirming that enough modes have been extracted for the further analysis so as here the modes we have calculated as a six so in each direction you can be get the effective mass so accordingly you can check that how many modes you require you may require 10 modes 4 modes 6 modes or more number of nodes so by using this effective mass you can be able to calculate 
here also you can get the cumulative effective mass fractions and the ratio of effective mass fraction so in x direction the value is 0 0.80 so which is nearly equal to 1 so it is feasible that 6 modes are sufficient so if you not get the this value is uh, approximately equal to 1 you can be able to change the mode number of modes and then calculate the results for the different mode shapes and find out the different frequencies so in this way you can be able to perform the model analysis of any type of beam or any component using the ANSYS workbench. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.